Hi, everyone. My name is Tabitha Branham, and I'm the Deputy Superintendent in Richardson ISD. And I am so excited today to be um, joined with Shanda Ash, the principal um, at Bowie Elementary. Shanda, say hello to everyone. Hi, everyone. How are you? We are so excited uh, to be here today just to share with the community um, some updated information regarding both the process that the committee went through in considering a name change for Bowie Elementary, as well as provide an updated timeline of the next steps, because we know there's a lot of community members um, that are anxiously awaiting to hear from us what is going to be happening next. And so we just wanted to to take this opportunity to provide that update. Um, so Shannon, I think it's really important that we take an opportunity and just take a step back for a second and just remind the community how we got started and why there was even a committee launched. And so um, I just wanted to go back that in um, the spring and early summer of uh, 2020, we had a community member who sent um, some communications and requested that Dr. Stone and the Board of Trustees consider the origin of um, Bowie Elementary in the name and whether or not that name still really um, did resonate in terms of how we would want to name an elementary school and does it still represent the vision and mission of the Richardson Independent School District. Um, in July at a board meeting, Dr. Stone asked the board because ultimately a name change of any school is up to our Board of Trustees, and she asked the Board of Trustees whether or not they wanted to consider um, this information and whether or not a change needed to be made. And at that meeting, our Board of Trustees um, encouraged the district to put together a committee both to consider a name change for the mascot at Westwood Junior High, and then also put together a committee to research and ultimately make a recommendation regarding the name of Bowie Elementary. Um, and so really what we're about to explore now, Shanda, and spend a little bit of time is understanding from that board charge where you were asked to put together a committee um, to consider a name change, what happened? So let's just start there. Um, can you share with us a little bit about the process that you used for selecting individuals to serve on your renaming committee? Sure. So individuals were selected uh, and individuals selected were reflective of the demographics at Bowie Elementary. The committee consisted of HOA members, of community members, staff members, students and parents. And then we, we really looked to have all perspectives represented. That is so great. Um, and I know Miss Dillon, the executive director for the um, JJ Pierce Learning Community, she helped co-chair the committee with you, right? Yes, yes, she did. Awesome. Um, the other thing I think it's important for the, the community to know is that there is a pretty um, straightforward board policy um, that we are asked to follow any time that we're either naming a new campus or we're wanting to go through the name change. And so I know you and Ms. Dillon spent some time reviewing that board policy um, and then working with and researching how other districts, when they go through this process, what those steps look like. Um, and so I think that that was really helpful in informing both the committee composition as well as next steps. Yes. Awesome. Well, one of the first things that I know your committee did was really you conducted some research on James Bowie and why, um, it, you know, his background and because we all think about remember the Alamo and the, the contributions he made that was, you know, um, pertinent to just that time period, but there were other things that you wanted to understand about him. So could you share a little bit about that process? Sure. We looked at various pieces of better research on James Bowie. Our light was really involved in that because she's the expert on, on that research. We really focused on five uh, resources ranging from what students would find on an approved library resource, including Pebble Go and Britannica School, all the way to the Texas State Historical Re Association, which was is really the most widely recognized, most accurate resource for Texas history. Um, committee participants were also encouraged to research on their own prior to the committee and then also outside the committee as well. Um, so can, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I wasn't in the room, but I can imagine if I was in the room, there was just a lot of meaningful discussion about um, what that name means to the community because we know it is, you know, generations have gone through Bowie. 
um, and it has a lot of emotional ties. It's something that the community is really connected to. So can you share a little bit of insight around the discussion that the committee had in order um, to move forward? Because even before they considered any names, um, you know, that they would want the, you know, the, the community to get feedback on, first they had to really come to a recommendation of, do we want to recommend a name change? So can you give us some insight on that decision? Yes. So the discussion was at times really difficult. Um, it was varied, it was back and forth. I'm really proud of the work that the committee did because it was real and it was really honest. The question that the committee really focused on was, does the name James Bowie on our building support the RSD equity, diversity and inclusion policy and why or why not? The discussion topics included James Bowie's participation in illegal slave trading, um, questionable land grant purchasing and sales, and also, like you mentioned before, um, his contributions at the Alamo, which we discussed at length. Um, his overall character was discussed, not necessarily um, one particular aspect or another, but a variety of aspects of his character. Um, the adults has many differing opinions, but I think we could all agree on the committee that the student voices were really um, the most impactful. Um, one student shared that um, coming into this meeting, he thought changing his name was stupid. Um, but after reading more about James Bowie beyond just what he learned in class or in student library resources, um, he now knows why someone thought we should talk about it. And now he was really just changing his mind. Um, another staff member who was on the committee shared that after researching James Bowie during a Texas Heroes unit I'm in the library, a fourth grader a few years ago asked her, why, why is our school named after him? He didn't really like that the information that he discovered um, when he researched about James Dewey, he didn't like what he had found. Another student who had a different perspective said that he, um, that everybody had flaws in their characters. So we really shouldn't be overly critical of James Dewey now um, in these modern times. And um, many of uh, many people on the committee discussed this point at length. And many even shared that they wouldn't necessarily want a school named after them because um, of a lot of these points that we wouldn't want our names um, are researched after us after all mm -hmm. this time. So and after a lot of this discussion, um, a vote was taken among the com committee members to arrive at this ultimate decision to move forward with the name change recommendation. It sounds like it, it really was a, um, you know, a conversation that was, you know, honest, it was solicited multiple different perspectives. And, and again, that y'all really did consider the fact that there are a lot of emotional connections to the name, um, but ultimately keep coming back to knowing that we have a diverse, amazing group of students that walk in and out of the doors of Bowie. Does that name now reflect, you know, the the vision and the beliefs and the you know what what you would want for the school and ultimately you all made the recommendation that yes we needed to move forward with the name change yes. um so from that point um then can you talk about how the committee came up with the three names that ultimately the community um had an opportunity to vote on in that survey right so after the um the vote at the first committee meeting after all those discussions and looking at the research um, the members, we asked the members to bring some name recommendations, again, following that board policy, because there's lots of rules that say how we, how the, we name a school. So we asked them to bring those recommendations to the second committee. Um, and the committee members presented those names and shared their uh, personal why behind they came up, how they came up with those names. Discussion was encouraged and evolved really just naturally. And um, although the thought of honoring a person was exciting, the committee ultimately didn't want to be in the same position in another 50 years, um, having a person's name. And so we really um, enjoyed hearing some of the suggestions for people. But when we focused on the student preferences, it really helped us to narrow down our focus. And they were really for more local ideas because that's what they really related to. Some of the ideas that were shared were for Live Oak Elementary because there's so many Live Oak trees in this area um, and in nearby neighborhoods. Highlands Elementary for one of the nearby neighborhoods right around here. Preston Ridge Elementary for one of the a close walking trail and biking trail that's nearby. So in the end, there were three names that you um, that the committee asked um, the community to say, hey, give us some idea of your preference and which name really connects with you um, as we consider this, uh, the, the, the name change. So can you share a little bit about those three names and why those were chosen? Sure. So 
like we said, ultimately geographic locations became more appealing through discussions and really hearing what those locations meant really to the students. Um, and that's how Salado Park, the park right behind Bowie became about and Twin Lakes, the ponds that are near the school came to be choices. The students have really fond memories of playing uh, right behind the school and celebrating school events in um, at Twin Lakes. So Lone Star Elementary came to be a choice because our school colors are blue and white and then red naturally goes with that along with that. And because our school has a Texas theme for many years, the students really associate the Lone Star State with positive memories and a uh, of school pride. So the students majority vote um, in the survey is for Lone Star Elementary with a really close second being Twin Lakes Elementary. And then how did the community, um, kind of what was the community result on, on the survey? So the community result on the survey um, is for Twin Lakes Elementary. A lot of people driving around the neighborhood drive by those beautiful well, there's a big debate whether they're lakes or ponds, but they're officially called lakes. They have a lot of memories and happy feelings uh, fishing at those lakes. So right now it is Twin Lakes Elementary is really where um, the survey is headed. Awesome. Um, so based upon that feedback, um, we know that uh, we, you were able to share the, the survey with the entire community. Um, and we know that for some of our community members um, that maybe they had kids that have you know, already gone through the system or maybe they are currently retired, that maybe they weren't fully aware that we were undergoing this name change. Um, and so based upon that feedback, Dr. Stone and the board made a decision to pause um, the renaming process for just a bit and uh, give some more opportunity for us to give and communicate the information about the process, both the why, as well as the committee process and then what the recommendations are. So I know since then you've had a chance to meet with several um, homeowners associations, as well as answering phone calls and emails and others who are asking questions. And part of this video um, is again, another you know um, opportunity for us to make sure the community really understands the why and the process and um, the real purposeful steps that you and your committees have taken in order to get to this place. Um, but again, as we know, we want to talk about the next steps as well. And so really what I'm hearing is that there are two kind of top uh, name choices, Twin Lakes and Lone Star. Um, and so I'm understanding that our next steps are going to be that we are going to re-release um, a community and um, Bowie Elementary uh, survey that are going to have those two names um, because we know when you have three names, um, it's often it splits the votes. Um, so we're going to kind of have a runoff. We're going to have our own um, runoff. We're going to be releasing that information um, in the upcoming week once we send out this video and make sure everyone is fully aware of the process. Um, and then we're going to leave that survey open for you know about seven to ten days, and then. Ultimately, um, you and um, Ms. Dillon will come forward on behalf of the co renaming committee process and you will be making a recommendation to the Board of Trustees um, in our June, I believe it's our June 7th meeting, and then the board would take a vote on June 14th. Is there anything else that you would want to add or share with the community? Because I know this has been a really difficult, challenging time, um, but you and your staff have navigated it so well. So what else do you think the community should hear from you? I would like to share that I know this has, like you said, been very difficult and that the name of a school isn't really just a name for those who live here. Um, I love this school and I love the community and I really want everyone to know that no matter what, the school board ultimately decides that we are the same school with the same heart on the inside and that my goal at the end is that we come together for the sake of our students and our families um, and that really is what is the most important. Well, thank you, Shanda. And I just, on behalf of our Richardson ISD leadership team, want to thank you for your leadership. Thank you for leading with heart. Thank you for leading um, with empathy. Thank you for leading with this real commitment to listen, to understand. Um, represented both internally and externally, you have stakeholders that are very supportive of, of considering a name change, and you have others that really are connected to that name. And you have really taken the time to listen 
and to hear and to understand and to best support everyone through this change process. So we just really celebrate you, appreciate you and the entire committee who committed, you know, um, months of research and work to get to this place. Um, and now we'll, you know, going to re-release the survey and um, see kind of the community's final feedback. And then ultimately it'll be a board decision on June 14th. Um, so thank you so much for taking the time today to share your insight. And um, I hope you have a good rest of your three weeks of the school year. And, um, uh, you know, please enjoy the rest of your year. Thank you.